Okay, so I watched your video, and I thought that it was really interesting on how you can really see differently from, like, how people who don't have low self-esteem and who are really confident, how it differs from people who have really just low self-confidence and low self-esteem. Um, I've been there, and I do have a pretty low self-esteem, but that's beside the point. And, um, <clears throat> I think that the reason it makes people, the ones who have the low self-esteem, it makes them affect, it changes their thoughts on other people, because after someone makes you have such a low self-esteem for so long, it's usually someone really close to you, and who matters a lot, and, like, people really dear to you. So, after you lose faith in someone else who you trust, how are you supposed to trust other people? How are you supposed to believe in yourself? How are you supposed to find that kind of hope? And I think that that could change their th thinking, if that makes any sense. And it could make them just really doubt themselves, and it's just really, it really sucks. <laughs> And, um, yeah. Stay away from there. No, bad kitty, get away. Yeah, my cat just tried to jump out the window, not cool. But, uh, yeah, it just completely changes somebody. And it's crazy to see how it can affect people. And it, people really need to open their eyes to see that, like, just some of the things that they say to people can really, really affect them, hurt them. People just need to be more, just, like, sensitive, I guess, to what other people could be going through, or what they're feeling. So that's my whole take on it. Yeah. Thanks.